the St James's Palace Stakes is next. This is over a mile, of course. It's a group one for three-year-olds for the Colts. This one, so rerun of lots of the 2,000 guineas. Uh, we'll see what we've got lined up today. As the card is currently loading, and it's a one-mile group one, of course, for three-year-old Colts. And at the top, we've got Cezy Mash down for M McMilk Equivalent Exchange for. Craig Allen, high-handed Padre Hogan, isolationism, Leon van Rensburg, Coyuso Nightingale for Vinnie Gerard, Man of Magic, Joshua Sutherland, Asaka Play, Vinnie Gerard, Poet's Word, Dan Hughes, Quelcast Sharp, Darren Thompson, Royal Aristocrat and Sunday Silence, both for Paul Rhodes and Vu John Given for David Robertson. So, a dozen of them this time to face the starter. Once again on the straight track and away. We go with Sunday Silence, probably the first one to show. Then for Paul Rhodes, going on by a bad neck, but immediately challenged by his stable mate Royal Aristocrat in the different colours. Then comes Isolationism, Poet's Word is also close up there, looking right over on the far side. I think that's Equivalent Exchange and Man of Magic who are running together. One on the far side, the two Vinnie Gerard horses together as well. One of them is grey, one of them isn't. Asaka plays the grey, the one that isn't grey is Kuyaso Nightingale. Looking towards the back of the field, high handed is just the back marker. But Royal Aristocrat has gone on then by a better length as they come down towards the far furlong mark. It's Royal Aristocrat then in the lead from Vujon given in second. Sunday Silence is third, right over on the far side, equivalent exchange and isolationism. And Man of Magic, Poet's Word is next, then Quelka Sharp trying to get into it as well, but it's still Royal Aristocrat who passes the four pole with a lead of two lengths to stable mate Sunday Silence in second. Vujon given is third, right over on the far side, equivalent exchange now goes into overdrive and moves through to challenge into second. Royal Aristocrat now is near the side, though he's still in front with three to go. Uh, being pressed by stable mate Sunday Silence. Equivalent exchange on the far side. High handed is now burst through the grey. Asaka play is trying to come through as well. It's high handed. He's hitting the front then from Asaka playing. Quelso Nightingale. Royal Aristocrat trying to keep on down this near side. Furlong and half to go. It's high handed in the lead from Royal Aristocrat. And then comes Asaka playing Nightingale. But it's still just high handed in the lead. And race inside the final furlong. High handed by about a neck. Now goes on again by about three quarters of a length. Asaka play is finishing well. So is Quelso Nightingale. But high handed is in the lead and racing up towards the line. It's going to be high handed that takes it. High handed. The winner on Saka plays second, and Kyoto knows he's going to man a magic and poets wood and sees him mash down in isolationism and all the way back to Royal Aristocrat, who ended up last. And it's a win. I think that's Padraig Hogan. So it is indeed high handed for Padre Hogan, the winner, Asaka play for Vinnie Gerard second, who also took third with Kuyoso Nightingale, Mana Magic, Joshua Zildon fourth, and Poets Word, Dan Hughes fifth. So three races in and three different winners, three different trainers have won so far.